<laughs> what are you doing? What's that? Apple. Apple? Okay. What's that? Car. Car? Good job. What's this? Juice. Juice? Yes. And what's this? Bear. Bear. Good job. What's this one? Car. Car? Uh-huh. What's this right here? Cat, good job. Uh -huh. What's this? Right here. Cat. Ball. What you doing? Let me see. That's what Dad do. Let me see. Let me see. What did Dad do? Good job. Okay, what is that, Mommy? Princess. A princess? How do you know that word? How do you know that yeah, word? Can <laughs> you see yourself? Rice. Rice, yes. Mm, good eating, Mama. Fork. Yes, that is a fork. Good job. Mama, put the back. Oh, <laughs> Oh, wow. What are you drawing, Mama? Good job, Mama. What's that, Mama? Ice? What's that, Mama, you said? <laughs> what is it? What is it, Mommy? Is it ice? What's up, HO fam? Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video, another vlog. Excited to be back on camera. I know you guys missed us. We missed you. Um, yeah, so today's video, as you can see, it's just going to be like a catch up with us. Um, kind of talk to you guys about like what's been going on since we last put down the camera. Um, some exciting things that is going on this weekend or that are going on this weekend. So super excited to catch you guys up and, um, yeah, just like give you guys some tea. So um, if you're excited, if you're happy to see me back on your screen, if you missed us, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, a like, and a comment down below. And yeah, let's get into this video. All right, so so many things have been going on since we put down the camera last. And by the way, I'm down the basement and it is a little chilly. So I just got a blanket and I got my coffee. So new day, same girl, okay? Um, but yeah, so let me catch you guys up on what's last been happening. So really, it really wasn't that big much of a deal as to, or like that big of an excuse as to why we haven't been vlogging. <clears throat> 
if you remember the video that I did like this sometime around like November, which was a life update, it's really just the same thing. Um, it's really just like work-life balance. So um, you guys know that we work for Amazon. Obviously, Christmas from thanks from Black Friday to Christmas is the busiest time of year. It's what they call peak season. So like we were working so much that we really just didn't have time to pick up the camera. Um, we were working a lot. We were working 10 and 12 hour days and um, we were working overtime so um it was a lot and then you obviously know that um that time of year is busy for us anyway because it's also Anaya's birthday so her second birthday was coming up and I was trying to plan her birthday party um so you guys saw her birthday party vlog um and I'll insert some clips some pictures of her birthday party um she had a really great time we had a great time and it was really fun what you did not see, um, so her birthday, I think, was on the, her birthday party was on the 19th. Um, her actual birthday is on the 22nd, and um, we went to pick her up from school and take her out for her birthday dinner um, and realized that she had a fever, winded up testing her, and she had COVID. Um, so that was unfortunate. Um, and then one by one, Henry and I both got COVID, tested positive for COVID um, in the process of taking care of Anaya. So that was just a whirlwind. Um, and then we were supposed to host Christmas, winded up not hosting Christmas because um, not only did we have COVID, literally so many people in our family had COVID. I, honestly, it was right around the time where the spike in COVID cases started again, like just like a month ago, almost um, when the COVID cases started to spike again, everybody had COVID. So it's not like like our whole family basically just didn't get together for Christmas. So um, that was crazy. And then, so then we quarantined for our 10 days or whatever. Um, and what, 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 what? Christmas. So you guys didn't see Christmas. I actually did vlog for Christmas and I actually imported and edited the footage for Christmas. I just never uploaded it because it started to be like, oh my goodness, like I just, I don't know. I just never uploaded it. Um, I do have that if you guys want to see it. Like, I don't know if it's so late where you're just like, like what the heck ever. Nobody wants to see that. Um, or if you're like, oh my goodness, like catch us up. We want to see what y'all were doing. Um, so if you want us to upload that, then just let me know down in the comments. Um, so yeah, just let me know. It's, it's, just sitting there waiting and ready um so yeah so then yep christmas then we quarantined for 10 days and then um you know rolled into new year's eve we obviously didn't do anything for new year's and then came my 30th birthday um 30th birthday definitely was amazing i had a wonderful time bringing in my 30th birthday um i was a little down just because right around my birthday is right when I was finishing up my 10 days of quarantine. Um, so I just, I don't know, like the appointments that I had planned for like my hair, my nails and all these different things, I really didn't have, I wasn't able to do because I was still finishing up my quarantine from COVID. So I was a little bit down about that. And then as I told you, all of my family had COVID and they got it maybe like a week, some of them even like at the tail end of our quarantine. And my friends had COVID. Some of my friends had COVID for the second time. Um, so we winded up, Henry winded up, he had an event planned for my birthday, winded up just having to cancel the event. Um, so that sucked. I know he was a little down about that because he had been planning it for such a long time. Um, so yeah, we had to cancel that, but um, we did still go out on my birthday. It was snowing. Um, so I'll insert just like some pictures and everything from my the actual day of my birthday. Um, we went out to Miss Shirley's for breakfast. Um, and then we just, what do we do? We went to the mall. We did some shopping. Um, we went out for to happy hour and got some drinks. And then um, we went to the bygone uh, at the top of the Four Seasons, downtown Baltimore. Um, and that's where I had birthday dinner with Henry. And um, yeah, it was just a great time, a great birthday. And then just recently, so let me see, on the 9th is when we took our flight to Cabo. And that's basically, you know, like how I celebrated my 30th birthday. We spent seven days in Cabo. And I'm telling you guys, if you have never went to Cabo, and Cabo has been on my bucket list, um, I wouldn't say bucket list, but like two travel lists. Um, 
if you have never been to Cabo, you have to go. It was amazing. Henry and I are still talking about like what a great trip it was. Um, during the winter time, I think like January through March or maybe like December through March or something like that. Don't quote me on the months. It's also whale watching season. So like literally we would be on our resort like at the pool and we could see the whales in the ocean in the distance. It was crazy. And like one of the days we rented a yacht and um, they took us to the Ark. That was beautiful. We got to see some whales. That was beautiful. Um, what else happened? I mean, Cabo was just a breath of fresh air. Obviously, it's still in Mexico. And we've been to Cancun like a handful of times, maybe like three or four times. Um, but it's just like a step up from Cancun. I feel like it's more bougie. It's more luxury. The views are amazing. <sighs> like, I'm convinced that like every beach movie scene that I've ever seen has been shot in Cabo because the beaches are just pristine and it literally looks like something out of a movie like I just can't I don't I don't even know but we are going back to Cabo I don't know when we're going but we are going back um I want to take Anaya this time I just yeah it was a great time go to Cabo if you haven't already <clears throat> So yeah, we got back from Cabo like two weeks ago um, and now we're at the start of February. Today's Friday and I just wanted to um, like get back into the swing of vlogging. I definitely um, have that goal for 2022. I want to be more present, more active on YouTube, continue to grow our YouTube channel and stuff like that. And um, yeah, so we are back. I'm excited. And since work has slowed down and everything, um, it's so much better. Um, so now moving on to this weekend, what do I got planned for this weekend? So, um, oh, that's Henry. Um, so what do I have planned for this weekend? So a couple of things. So one today I'm going to the hairstylist or the hairdresser. I'm really excited about that. Um, I was sitting in my bed yesterday and I had an epiphany. I was looking up a hairstylist and I realized, and I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen it. Either my hair is not done or my hair is in a protective style, typically braids. And there's really no in between. Like either I look like a hobo or I have in braids. And that's just because with my natural hair, like I feel like I used to be able to manage it more. Um, but these days with my current lifestyle, I really don't have time to manage my natural hair. I am not a naturalista in the sense that like, I don't go out and test out all these different products and see what works. And like literally on wash day, I am ready to get this crap over with. And like right now, I really just don't have time to dedicate to like washing my hair for 30 minutes, um, detangling for another 45 minutes, blow drying my hair, then um, what is it? Like flat ironing my hair to make it manageable so that it can be braided. I just, I don't have time for that anymore. And I'm not willing to dedicate that time to that anymore. And so, um, <clears throat> so yeah, like yesterday, I was like, you know what? I'm getting a perm. So yesterday, I made an appointment for myself today to get my hair permed, cut, and styled. So I am so excited about that. Um, so this vlog, I'm going to be taking you guys with me to the hair salon. Um, and yeah, we'll see like my new look by the end of this vlog. I'm really, really, really excited about it. And then the last thing that I wanted to fill you guys on, um, by the time you see this video, most of you guys who follow me on Instagram would have already seen the announcement or wh whatever you want to call it. But my sister is pregnant. <laughs> my sister Cache. You guys know Cache. Y'all know Cache, my sister. And yeah, she is pregnant. We have known for a few months now. And um, this Sunday is her gender reveal. So um, I am doing like the balloon arch for her gender reveal as well as some like other pieces for the gender reveal that you guys will see. I am so excited for that. So I was just like, what, what a better weekend. Um, like what a, wait, what a better weekend? What a great weekend to pick up the camera and kind of like get us back on YouTube, you know? Um, 
So yeah, you'll see a little bit of that. So yeah, it's a lot going on. Um, I know this little clip has been long, so I'm probably going to end this clip right now. And then the next clip, I got some errands to run um, for the gender reveal a little bit later. And then my hair appointment is actually at three o'clock. So if you are excited, if you know, I caught you up and now we are back here and you are, um, you know, ready to tag along on this vlog, keep on watching. <laughs> all right guys so i had to rush out of the house this morning because i had another appointment um hair is a mess um but i didn't have time to eat breakfast before i left so i just stopped and got some lunch um and then i have some errands to run so let me show you guys what i'm eating um so i came to solid works i got an avocado cob salad and um a chipotle chicken panini and um I think I'm about to just like sit here, listen to some music, watch some YouTube, and enjoy my food. When you could be real good, so honestly, I can tell that you're real fond of me. Maybe don't be shy, I can see it in your eyes. I've been running around, too bad, I've been sticking on your mind. I know you like your hair, I'm from your head. I know you stand how you're taking all my time. Left, right, can you take it all the time? Too bad, I've been sticking on I'm dead. I'm really out here looking like Kodak Black. Like I can't even take myself seriously. But um, that salad works was disgusting. <laughs> like I don't even want to get into it because it's going to make me mad. But just know that salad works was disgusting. The last time I had salad works, I was in college and I used to love salad works. Like I'm thinking that it's just going to be just like um, like Nally Fresh, like compatible to Nally Fresh. No, baby. Ooh, that salad works was so nasty. <laughs> I'm actually low-key still hungry because I like just like picked over it. I went and got um what is this called? I've got some bubble tea. Um I haven't had bubble tea in a really long time and I tried something different. I got a dirty brown sugar milk tea um with 30% sugar, um 30% ice. It has the black boba pearls at the bottom. And another thing that I tried is pudding. I wanted to like stuff out of my comfort zone. I've never added pudding to my bubble tea before, but I've seen people do it. And so we're about to taste this together. So let me just mix it up. And after this, um, I just need to run into Michael's to get some spray paint for the baby shower. I said for the baby shower, for the gender reveal. And I'll tell you guys, um, I'll tell you guys what I'm going to use that for. And then I got to run into Target and get a few things for the gender reveal as well. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay. Hmm. It's very delicious. Definitely tastes like like strong tea with milk in it. Um, I definitely could have got this 30% sugar because the, the increments went from zero to a hundred. So I thought 30 would be just like too, um, not enough sweetness, but I mean, I could definitely tolerate 30%. Mm. This is good. Mm. okay now let's run into michael's okay so i made it into michael's and the first thing that i see when they come in is that they still have christmas stuff i don't know why they still have christmas stuff but this is the exact ribbon that i have on my tree and it's 75 percent off at this point it should be like 90 percent off but either way i'm gonna get um, a few of these for next year. Wait a minute, this ribbon is so pretty. Oh my gosh, if we was doing navy blue, I would definitely get that. Let me see what else they have. Y'all, look at this. They still have so much Christmas stuff out. I am, <laughs> why isn't this gone by now? 
This is so funny. This garland and stuff. Garland is for, look at this. All this Christmas stuff, still owl. This is crazy. <laughs> All right, so y'all saw me in Michael's just now and I showed you guys the spray paint. So I winded up with these two colors the light blue and the coral um the light blue is spot on to the color that i wanted i wanted like a powder baby blue and then i wanted like a soft blush pink but they actually did not have a wide variety um a lot of their colors were out of stock so i wouldn't have went with the coral um, but it was the closest that i could find to blush pink mm -hmm. Real fast like I'm running. When it's been 